Hello and welcome back to the second episode of Anno 1800. Hopefully you are enjoying the series so far. I certainly am, I'm, and I am certainly looking forward to actually expanding quite a lot. There'll be sandbox episodes as well, but I want to go ahead and continue on with the campaign. See what happens with the story. They're definitely pushing it quite a little bit more than I think they have in previous Annos. Cream of the crop. Let's go ahead and upgrade our very first residence. You reach a new milestone. The age of industrialization, which is what I like to hear. Let's go ahead and clear out the smeltery. Uh, what else can we clear out? Anything here? Our dream of a shipyard is impossible without plenty of qualified hands. Nice. So this actually gives us a cheap and easy way of actually picking up these resources that we desperately need, which is great. Um, we do have some bricks here as well. Let's have a look if there's anything more that we can destroy here. Here. Actually, there's quite a bit that we can destroy. Uh, and that's going to equal quite a lot of bricks for us as well. And I definitely don't need any more wood, so let's stay away from that. Anyways, they want us to attract 150 workers, which is simple enough. Uh, wait for Edward to contact you about the debt. Okay, so I guess we've got to wait. Let's just um, keep on building. Seems like the easiest way to make money is definitely to make your people happy. That's for sure. Anyways, let's go ahead and just keep on upgrading these houses, I guess. Work. With several passionate young reporters enlisted, our publishing house is already well underway. Our editorial section is sure to grow along with your city. We are fine-tuning the first issue as we speak. All right. Good to hear there, mate. You have father's fortitude. These people will follow you as they once followed him. You reached a new milestone. Nice. The milestone of a port town. So now we need to create four sales. We also have Your a brand new tab. Rags have barely covered anything. Now bring me sales. It's not like you have any use for them. All right. So it looks Clearly like Uncle's intention is to keep us from ever owning a shipyard. I'm going to have to build a road over here. Oh, we can build bridges. This is brand new from memory. Can't remember having to build bridges before. That's great. So what I'm going to have to do is build a clay pit here. Now the thing with clay pits is they take 30 seconds, whereas bricks take one minute for the production to come along. So what I'm going to do is something like so. Go with the warehouse right here in the center. There we go. So what that means is this guy takes um, 30 seconds to produce clay, whereas these brick factories take a minute to actually um, produce bricks. So we need two of these a brick factories. Well, we've got a fire as well, which should be fairly easily solved. Yeah, it looks like it will be solved. I'm not quite sure how easily, though. Jeez, you need quite a bit more happiness. Okay. I guess you can mobilize them. I just can't mobilize uh, the second and the third ones, I see. So we need a lot more happiness. Oh, that's pretty cool. Anyways, um, let's go back with the mission to make sales. Also, what I need to do is upgrade this warehouse. So that is pretty cool. We're able to upgrade these warehouses, which means that uh, there's more loading ramps. Which means that we're able to have more buildings around here producing things, which is actually quite important. Uh, with that being said, 
we're going to be producing what two bricks a minute something like that so that's great so with the sails now the fire has been vanquished gorgeous okay we're chewing up through the cotton like we've got the pretty much the perfect amount oh, it's not cotton sorry it's um sheep farm so we need sheep farms for both creating clothes for our guys but also to produce sail makers so what I am going to do is actually produce them over here. What I would like to do though is to move this if we go relocate. There we go. Something like so. And what I will do is build a road. Just like so. Just so hopefully they move the sheep farm to the sail makers pretty quick. Need a little bit more bricks though. Which wouldn't take too long to actually get. So that's great. Then we'll have the sail makers coming along. Takes 30 seconds each, so that's always good. Uh, I think it's about time, though, that I started upgrading some more of these houses. Where are my sails? Um, you should have them, mate. Nothing you do will lift the cloud. Haven't seen a prison transport of mine, have you? If you do, uh, be sure to return any salvage to me. Who's a ship to rescue group of castaways zero out of one from the prison transport wreck and use a ship to rescue the floatsome um, from the prison transport wreck all right so where is this prison transport wreck you speak of my friend it's pointing out this way so I guess that's from memory where it is you just follow the arrows We found a nice little island. No, I think maybe that's where the wind's going. I'm assuming so. Hmm. So where? Oh, there we go. I forget. I, with Anno, the missions are actually relatively easy. You just go ahead and click um, on a lot of these buttons, and it'll do it for you. My hands are tied, but it may. I mean, these missions are just, I guess, as a filler, time filler, really. Not really all that important. Alright, so, we can also start producing bread, which will feed our people. Not much in the way of common dignity. They actually quite have uh, two feed basic needs. So, that's uh, the sausages and the bread. Oh, we unlocked a uh, gold digger mission or ability or something of the sort. Just missed that. Um, what I also do need quite a bit is some more work clothes. So. Hmm. Workforce shortage. Well, we don't like workforce shortages. I'm gonna have to try to upgrade some houses here. Uh, but I definitely need a lot more of these um, work clothes though before people start getting angry and not having enough clothes, which is no good. You know what I might be able to do though is relocate. Some more of these. Maybe not. No. I could do that one. Okay. If I just move this here for now. Guess that works, right? Game saved. They're not complaining yet, so it's always good. Yeah, 
we go. So you got three for three. That makes sense. What I even might be able to do is just, uh, let's see. I think I might be able to place another cheeky one right over here. Beautiful, that will work. Nice. Something's missing. Should be producing more than enough, hopefully now. With a one-to-one -one ratio for everyone. Uh, how are we doing over here? You aren't complaining about. No, you're not, thankfully. What I will do, though, is upgrade you. Just in case. Takes up a little bit of my bricks, but that's not too much of a worry. Um, looks like I'm able to actually destroy some more things. Actually, this island's pretty much all cleared out now. Uh, just got a, a couple oil springs here, but nothing really to destroy. Seems like we've pretty much cleared everything out, which is great. Um, let's go back to these castaways. Saved. Do you also then save us from a grievous injustice? Oh, there's Edward's the prison. charges against us are pure fabrication. The man is an imposter. A letter. It bears Edvard's seal. Don't even think about sheltering Samuel's co-conspirators. Deliver them to prison at once, and I might lift your debt. Open seal document on your ship. I actually Open like the, the sound <coughs> rebelling. Really up to no good. I definitely don't like my brother, to be honest. However so. much we despise Uncle Edvard, it's criminal to go opening his private correspondence. Well, let's go break the law. Dear Governor Bleakworth, more of the Traitor Samuel's conspirators. Crimes and sentences as follows. Right, these guys aren't doing too well for themselves. With uh, things it like that. It be. These names are those father trusted most. Barristers, doctors, academics. Bring Even I am astonished he could be this corrupt. We must put their cases before the highest authority and hope for a retrial. He certainly knows how to silence his critics. All right, so I'm going to bring him to this out. island, and we should be able to. What is it you are bringing? Deliver him here. Bring the political people. But what I want Ned to do quickly is just make sure we get this flyer out. There we go, we should be alright. With that fire. So let's come back over here. So this is High Clarence Hall. To Sir Archibald Blake, so it seems like we are bringing him to the right person. The fire has been vanquished. What's over here? It is mine as well. Oh no, it's a different lady. Okay. I was gonna say she's got a very close colour to mine. I guess the hers is a bit more aqua and mine's green. I thought that was mine for a moment. Does that work? No. Duty done. Time for a kip. Hmm. We'll bring Edward political Edward's political prisoners. These are political prisoners, right? To Archibald Blake. Maybe I need to come up on the other side. All in Her Majesty's name. Game save. I'm not sure why this isn't working though. Should definitely be. But anyways, uh, before we get too 
lost in that. Let's actually start making a lot, a lot more of these guys happier, which means... Stores are inundated. Oh, cell makers are full. All right. Um, I like maybe I should stop production. Boss. If it's a lockout, we've a right to know. I'll put my feet up. I'll stop the whole production up there. Uh, what I will do though is get those. So what that enabled me to do is get, have a lot more of the workforce with the workers up here. And then that means I'll be able to get the sausages out of the way. So maybe what I could do is actually just build another warehouse. You know what? That's not a bad idea. So if we go small warehouse. And I place it here. And here you can work out like the best way to actually build a lot of these um, industries. So what I'm thinking of doing here is something like everything on this corner like so alright peddlers say there's nowhere to take it uh, I'm not quite sure how this will work out for me though What I will do is, let's go delete, actually no, relocate, there, and there, okay, and maybe I can go, sausage, sausage, let's have a look. One minute, one minute. Okay, so it's all one minute. Where do we take the stuff without a warehouse? That doesn't work out too well for us. There we go. And then... I think we need roads, don't we? That's one thing that I kind of neglected are these roads, isn't it? A farm? We know fields. We've run out of gabbins. That should work. But yeah, no warehouse in range. So what that means is I just have to move it out one tile out. There we go. That's not the most efficient though, is it? Hmm. Plus, I need another sausage factory. But the reason I'm not going to build another sausage factory is at the next stage. Actually, no, in this stage, we need soap. And soap requires pig fat, too. So I'll just let it chill for a bit. Um, so we've got that going on. I still haven't been able to figure out what this if is you all pop about. Off now, you'll be back in time for telly. Dolly, Roger. Uh, so this guy wants 30 bricks. I'm not going to really bother. I mean, I don't even need that money. Um, what I do need, though... Yeah, I guess that doesn't work. So let's go try... Bring these political prisoners here. I hereby sentence you to... You broke the key off in the lock. I wonder if this will trigger the mission to work. He's definitely right. These are uh, the political prisoners. Delivery. Dead or alive. Okay, it seems to pick it up there. I'm just going to try again here. Maybe we need to come back in the area. And then it'll trigger the mission. In the meantime, though. I'm happy as a sandboy. 
Will you build us another castle? Maybe. Uh, how are people going? Got me family. They seem to be pretty happy. They could do with a bit more schnapps. Uh, too many transporters. That's no good. Bit too much happening here, I guess, still. I'm very tempted, to actually, just to build... Um, if we go back here, more potato farms. Oh, jeez, I'll sneak some in. I guess I have to place them this way, don't I? And I'll build another warehouse here. There we go, that should work. What are you guys complaining about? Look busy, people. Oh, missing. Oh, right. <laughs> Forgot those big styes. No warehouse in range for you. It's easily fixed, I think. Something like so. A fire broke out. Should be in range of these. There we go. Kind of sucks that every time there's a fire that breaks out, you actually need to mobilize it yourself. These firefighters. It does get annoying. But um, what's happening here? It's like I just can't do this mission no matter what. Like it doesn't trigger the mission. Oh, here we go. What is it you are bringing dead here, really? Oh dear. Uh, best leave these poor people with me. I will tell Edvard that the debt between you is quite settled. That was none of your business. And what right has the Crown to meddle in my accounts? What right? We are all of us quite moved by your selfless actions. Your father would be proud. Thank you, my friends. So relieved our legitimacy is no longer in question. Hurry! I already smell the tar. See the masts are swaying from father's study. Alright, I will place another pub here. Because it seems like that's a good place to place it. Um now. Back to making of these guys happy. So these guys want a church now, and then they require beer as well. Okay, so. Also, yes, talking about that, they also require soap, which requires a pig farm to a rendering factory, which we'll just place here. The fire has been vanquished. Oh, actually, oh, jeez. Okay, now it starts getting real technical. So now we need steel beams. Which requires a route to harbour or warehouse blocked. How does that work? I think it's because maybe we haven't unlocked it yet in the main game. I guess in this mission. Um, so, uh, build a sailing shipyard. Let's go do that, which should be in... Sailing shipyard, hey? It's definitely not in sales, is it? It's a trade union. Only useful if equipped. No. Uh, what I'll do, though, is build a, that church that I was talking about. Like so. That works perfectly as well, which is great. Build a road around. Right, so. Also, let's get these uh, grains in here. So. Need a nice bit of land. Question is, where do we see a nice bit of flat land? I guess over this way here. Game saved. That could be quite useful. But, as you can see, they made it jolly old difficult for us. 
I'm not even sure how we build up over here because there's no coast. Interesting. It's got something to do with, I guess, dynamite. They'll, they'll make us have a mission to do with this. For sure. And then we'll clear out these rocks. Actually, no, there seems to be a railway line. Interesting. So they're going to force us to build railways. Which is something that's new to the game. Alright, so these You've got guys... Our interests at heart. They're pretty happy, which is great news. Um, there we go. Small harbour. And I need the sailing shipyard. So what does that give us? Build ships. Alright. There's a couple of different things that we could do, like harbour master's office, which um, gives us all these different bonuses, but I'm not really too fussed about them. Our city's historic first shipyard. We must document this moment in our first edition. Alright, let's go take that photo of our sprawling little paradise. Very nice. Not quite sure where I just a submitted that photo. To illustrate history in the making. Oh, it's in the newspaper, that'll make sense, right? And there goes chapter two, a sign of fire. And I guess with that, that's a good time to end the very well second so episode you now. Build ships like your father. Well, the queen is in the direst need of ships. Of anno eighteen hundred. Supporting her, we'll go. I'll be back very soon with a, a lot more content. The royal fleet. The weaponry they ask for presents a problem. Yeah, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. But. Uh, Definitely going to try to make this a regular series. Until next time, though, guys, I will see you later and we'll keep on building our sprawling and bustling little oasis.